a little bit. Oh! <laughs> 6341 Tango, Greensburg Ground, taxi to 17. Taxi to 17, 41 Tango. Checking the brakes. Coming on 70 Alpha, where are you parking today? Okay, turn left, taxi to North So he told us to taxi to runway 17, this is runway 17. Um, the runways are just basically compass directions, so that's a south-facing runway or north-facing runway. Do they have like and a there's the ground controller. Oh. What's that? Is there like an L and an R? There's no L and R here because there's only one okay. runway. Just one. All right, let's let's welcome the the YouTube fans. Connor, say hi to that camera. Hey, camera. <laughs> this is Connor right there, Shannon in the, in the back. Uh, we're just going out for a quick little flight out to Martinsburg and from Leesburg to Martinsburg and back. So, nice day. Uh, we'll see how bumpy it is over the Shenandoahs, but we'll go from there. Let's hope we get a little bump. Ground, AV2, going to North Ram. AV2, ground approved. Leesburg Tower, uh, Skyhawk 6341 Tango, ready to go 17. Uh, 6341 Tango, Leesburg, hold short, one money. Holding short, 1741 Tango. You see him right there? Who? The plane that's about Super to Tower land. Bonanza, two box off, left turn okay? Mm -hmm. 6341 Tango, traffic ahead is in left close pattern, runway 17, when 1807, take on. Clear for takeoff, 1741 Tango. Here we go. Now, there's my tower, it's uh, Grumman 8 to Lima. Set to the west with the weather. K2 approved. Mr. Kong, Leesburg Tower, say again, please. Yes, sir, it's Grumman 8 to Lima, 10 to the west. Grumman 5880 to Lima, Leesburg, and a midfield right downwind, runway 17 and 1807, south turn is 3004. Traffic is departing westbound just now. Okay, so right downwind for uh, runway 078 to Lima. I didn't get the number, but I heard you have an anchor. Easy peasy. Minutes to 2022 to November, taxi to 17, wind 1007, altimeter 3004, and if you file an SFRA flight plan, I can get one from Potomac, otherwise we'll just put you on uh, 1226 and put you on the advisory frequency. Tango, traffic of Grumman Tiger inbound from the west, last report, nine miles. Forward Tango, looking. Tiger 80, Lima, the Cessna I called before is westbound at the departure end of the runway. How far out to the west now? Uh, so we're about uh, eight. Understand, eight miles, thank you. Leesburg Tower, 721, Tango Hotel, 12 miles to the west, coming in for landing 3-2. 721 Tango Hotel, Leesburg Town, runway 17 in use, wind 190 at 8, altimeter 3004, and a midfield, right downwind for runway 17, report 2 west. There is traffic ahead of you in Grumman, and outbound of Cessna 172 from the airport. Let's do this for a little bit. Hunter, grab this. Let's go down the ridge line. We're due. Turn. Get the nose down a little bit. Keep your nose down below the horizon. Up just a little bit. There you go. Uh, Yo, ride. Flying a plane. Delta guard. Nose down a little bit. OK. 
Okay, so you can be a little more aggressive on the turns, so you want to go something like this. Oh, oh my! <laughs> turn around, then you pull back a little bit. Okay, can I come in for 995 is uh, on the center, 9,000 direct to the field. <laughs> yeah, all right. What river is that? Huh? What river is that? Shenandoah. So Harper's Ferry is right over there. We'll go, you can see it in the gap over here, and we'll get there, we'll go there when we come back. And then we can do other fun things, like if we do zero Gs. Okay. Ready? What? I don't think I'm ready. <laughs> Why did you ask if I'm ready? You go up, and then if you go, you push the nose over just a little bit. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Holy shit. That's, that's zero G's. Did you come yeah. off your seat? Yeah. No. Oh, you did it? You were just yes, floating. I did. Don't do it again. <laughs> okay, Connor, we're going to go to the airport over there. So we want to lose altitude, so we want to get down to 2,000 feet. So we'll pull the power back a little bit, and you fly us to that direction. You see where the airport is? You can uh, see the hangars. No. Yeah. That's where we're going. Cool. Pull the nose up a little bit. And in front of us is Charlestown Races and Slots. Oh, nice. <laughs> the nose down just a little bit. So you want to look here. The yellow bars, let me turn the flight director off. The yellow bars just below the horizon. But don't look at that. Just get yourself a sight picture of where you should be. And then you outside to determine where, you're, where we're flying. So the airport is over there. We want to go that direction. Big hangers. I do now. Yes, sir. Martin's Tower, uh, 6341 Tango is on a left base runway 26. Cog 6341 Tango, runway 26, wind 1705, cleared for the option. Cleared for the option, 2641 Tango. Okay, so you see the lights on the left side of the runway? Yep. They're both white, which means that I'm too high right now. So we're going to pull some power back. And put some more flaps in as soon as my slow kill it slows down a little bit. The cool thing is you control everything by power. If I'm too high, I just pull more power out and idle down to where I need to. I want is my lights to be one red and one white. They should be coming back in really soon here. Here we go. Oh. Made the runway, so now the lights really don't matter anymore. Ups come up. I do the C 17s. Ah, these guys are awesome. We'll do one more here and then go into the Shenandoah, into uh, Harper's Ferry. Nice. Tis not available. So you don't control it by pitching up and down, you control it by how much power you give it. Yep. So you just pitch is the speed that you're flying. The power is how you actually go figure out how high you are. Want to basically, like you said, stall out just as you land. Uh, 
Flaps are up. And we can go. Is not available. Six three four one Tango, we're gonna head out of here. Sky four one Tango, what's your direction of departure? Four one Tango, we're headed eastbound. Sky four one Tango, left turn out screw. Four one Tango, thanks. See you later. Got what I needed. Yeah, Pl plenty of runway for this little plane, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, on a bad day, I could probably land on that runway like sideways. I was. Amazing how much the trees, the difference between the south side of the ridge <laughs> and, the and the north side of the ridge, how many leaves they've lost. Leesburg Tower, Sky, uh, Skyhawk 6341 Tango, 10 miles to the north, inbound for landing. Is that Cessna 634 Tango Tango? 6341 Tango. 6341 Tango, Leesburg Tower. If you're north of the field, join the straight in final for runway 17 and call me three miles out, please, for your landing clearance. 41 Tango, we're already on final and we'll call you three miles out. Thank you. The runway? Uh, Leesburg altimeter 3004. 3004, 41 Tango. Okay, I'm going to take it over from here. So, if we're in bad weather, just keep listening. The plane will say minimums, where basically you're allowed to fly until it says minimums without seeing the runway. Right now, we would still be able, we would still be legal to be flying. As long as we're within these yeah. parameters, we're not going to hit anything. Yep. And it'll take us all the way to the runway. As soon as it says minimums, then if you don't see the runway, you have to take back off and go try again or go to another airport. You'll see how close you can actually get. Without even needing to see it? Without even needing to see it. And all you have to see is the lights. So the lights that are where the cars are crossing, that's all you have to see. You don't even have to see the actual runway lights. You just have to see something of the runway environments. Now, right now, the lights aren't on, but the lights extend Minimums. all right here. Minimums. It's extend all the way out to where that the street is. Oh, they do. You can see them. Yep.
last one. Excellent. Shannon, how did you like it? Meh. Meh. How'd you like the zero G's? That's a lot. I don't know why people don't like zero G's. Zero G's great, man. Yeah. Zero G's is the best part. We were not flying into jet. Anyway, yeah. close it out, Connor. Great flying with you today, buddy. Want to hit the camera?